Welcome back. We have just taken a shuttle to uh, this place in the hope of finding the headquarters of the Church of Voltec. Maybe this cop can help us. It's a bored looking policeman. Maybe he can give us some directions. Officer? Yes, ma'am? Can you direct me to the MTI building? Certainly. See that huge, massive, towering building over there? That's it. Yes, ma'am. Okay, thanks. You're welcome, ma'am. MTI, as you may remember, was the business front of the Church of Voltec. Wow, it's a faux Roman palace. How very Las Vegas. <clears throat> okay. Appears that we are in the lobby of the building where MTI is located. We need to get in here. Stunning. In a creepy neo fascist way. Hush. I think that receptionist doesn't like it when we talk. Scary. I believe that circle with a big X through it is supposed to represent the destruction of the balance. These guys don't get around. That's one hell of a conclusion to leap through, too. Well, let's see if we can. That's the only elevator in the building? I wonder what they do during rush hours. Let's see if we can take the elevator. And what, pray tell, do you think you're doing, miss? Me? Uh... We're just visiting a friend. I'm visiting a friend of mine. Oh, really? Then your name would be in my appointment diary, yes? Uh, I don't know. I don't really have an appointment. You don't say. And do you really have a friend in the building? No. Then I suggest you turn around and walk out of here, miss. This is a private building. How do I call the elevator? You do not, miss. I call it. All right, thanks. No, you misunderstand. I call it. For people who work in the building, or for those with appointments with the people who work in the building. You are... How shall I put this? Street vermin. A hooligan. Scum. You were homesick the day they taught diplomacy, weren't you, Jerry? Gerald, please leave the building. She probably has a name plaque uh, on, the, on his desk where she's reading that from. What floor is Jacob McAllen on? We do not have a Jacob McAllen working here, miss. Do you have any McAllens at all? I'm not picky. I am not about to divulge any private information to a person such as yourself. Good for you, Jerry. Gerald! It would be so nice if you left now, miss. Can I bribe you? I'm sorry. What? Pay you to let me slip by you unnoticed into the elevator? For goodness sake, miss, absolutely not. I am not your common low life. I'm sure even a stand-up guy like you, Jerry, needs some pocket change now and then. Gerald! And no, I do not. Now I would like you to leave. Immediately. Thank you very much, Jerry. <sighs> Gerald! And if you do not leave, miss, I will be forced to call the police. So that's Jerry, the ambiguously gay receptionist. Except it's not really all that ambiguous. Anyway. Um... We're gonna need some excuse to get past him. Like... Pizza delivery. Got a pizza delivery for Mr. McAllen. 
Really? There's been no... Wait a second. Weren't you in here before? We haven't actually left. Me? Nah. Uh, been, been delivering pies to the, uh, to Venice. I, I ain't been up here before. Nice hood, clean pavements, good air. I could have sworn. Oh, very well. Give me the pizza and I will see to it that it's delivered to Mr. McAllen as soon as possible. No can do, guy. This has got to be delivered now, before it gets cold. You know how Mr. McAllen gets when his mozzarella is cold. <sighs> I can't very well leave my post, so... All right, all right. Step into the elevator and I will send you to Mr. McAllen's office. But I want you back down here pronto, do you understand? That guy is as stupid as he is effeminate. But at least we got in. Must be pretty high up. That's an amazing view. I can see clear across the city. What the hell is that? What is that? It looks... God, it looks human! I guess the Vanguard are growing these creatures for a purpose. Maybe soldiers? That's one war I'll do my best to prevent. Why are they growing these things in McAllen's office? They're humanoid. I don't know what they're growing in these tanks, but whatever it is, it's disgusting and alive. I don't know what they're growing in these tanks, but whatever it is, it's disgusting and alive. Um, okay. Let's see if we can get anything useful from his desk. Maybe the location of uh, Cortez's prison. Papers. There's nothing here that... That's my... That's my name. And my address. Uh, obviously there's... God, they've been tracking me, watching me. They shot two of your friends and you've just now figured that out? Uh-oh. Oh. <gasps> Mr. McGowan himself, I presume. You were the last person I'd expect to find here, Shifter. I've spent an obscene amount of money and resources tracking you down. Since before we knew your name, before you even came to Newport. And then you simply walk into my lap like a mouse into a great big trap, looking for the cheese, I'd imagine. The Guardian. Well, he's not here, I'm sorry to say. He's being held elsewhere, awaiting your directions. You do have them, yes. The directions to the Guardian's realm. Not yet. Sorry, but I never managed to find the entrance to the Guardian's realm. Hmm. Pity, really. And I thought you'd done so well on your journey across Arcadia. At least you have the disc and the two jewels I'm missing in your possession. So good of you to bring them here. I thought I might have to go pick them up myself. I have friends. Oh, you do. You do. The very best friends, too. Don't make me laugh, girl. Did you really expect your good buddy Cortez to tell you the truth? Or to come to your rescue like a knight in shining armor? He's been using you. Tobias, Cortez, the bloody kin, all your friends. They've been using you for their own selfish reasons. 
They're no different from me, Shifter. No different at all. Oh, yeah? Well, we'll answer that in the next video.